Mitch Flower Power and the Classic 188. I'm the Haxer, and I'll be doing your commentary for tonight. So, yeah, uh, we should be getting started here shortly. I think both the runners are ready. This one should be a fantastic uh, match we got going on here, actually. Um, so, yeah, it should be starting here in about 10 seconds. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, these are uh, two of the best players in the tournament. Honestly, this could be a finals match, but uh, lucky for us that we get it right away here in the bracket stage. Um, I'd say it's probably pretty close to 50-50 here. I know Mitch is the best Mario 3 player in the world, but Classic's one of the best randomizer players in the world, and he's got a lot of uh, vanilla skill as well, if you haven't heard of him. So he actually plays super aggressive as well, kind of like I do. Um so we're, we're kind of similar in that regard. He actually plays a little crazier than I do, which, uh, w I mean, when he plays at his best is incredible to watch. So I'm hoping for his best here. So. And yeah, it looks like they're they're off here. First world is world two. All right, so we see a fort right off the bat and uh, Classic choosing to go right to the fort and uh, Mitch choosing to skip it here, so. We'll see um, if this decision pays off for Mitch. Oh, and taking a death to the uh, the Paracoupa dropping out of the sky there. Um, really horrible enemy to actually have in that spot. Uh, interesting thing about uh, this is 4-1 here. Um, these big uh, power up blocks is they always give you the same items. So that's always going to be a leaf there if he was big Mario, of course. Meanwhile, Classic finishing up 5 um, Fort 2 there. One of the best levels to see at the beginning of the game because you can always speed through it no matter what enemy set you get there. So as you saw, he was able to dispatch that one pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, he's choosing to wait out the Paracoupa there because kind of a rude enemy to get. Um, and we're seeing 4-4 four, four here on Mitch's side. So do a nice lock of 2 bounce there. Getting some P-Speed here. The, th the nice thing about this level is it's always entirely vanilla. So your vanilla strats for this level are always going to work here. Um, so as as you can tell, Mitch having no problem with this one. And uh, probably going to see the same from Classic here. Oh, just shorts, shorts the jump there. So he'll have to do a little bit longer path in this level. So yeah, this is where we're going to see um, what's going on at the end of the world here. Um, and of course we got a lock in front of the the uh, castle here so Mitch is gonna have to play one of the fortresses here and uh, hopefully it's this one for his sake otherwise he's gonna have to go back and play that other fortress and uh, be a level behind classic here so we're gonna actually figure out pretty quick what's going on at the end once classic decides to check this pipe Meanwhile, Mitch getting uh, six fort three, and it is in fact this fortress. So Mitch actually saving some time here by skipping the fortress at the beginning of the world. So that ends up being a really good gamble for him. Um, seeing the 50-50 forts, choosing to then skip one of them. Um, so yeah, gets him a nice advantage early. And yeah, this is six fort three. Um, it's fairly easy to do mostly vanilla. Uh, the you have to modify some of your jumps in this level, but for the most part, uh, it's not too terribly challenging in randomizer. Probably the worst part about it is that elevator room. The enemies are randomized. You can get some pretty bad enemies there that uh, maybe make that room a little more challenging, but there are some ways to get around them. So um, both choosing to fight a hammer bro here and uh, ooh, classic taking a death from that hammer there. Uh, the sledge bros can be kind of brutal here uh, obviously, they have the uh, quaking ability um, as well, so they can kind of stun lock you. So, a um, little bit, little miscue there, but he just decides to skip the hammer bro at the end of the day and uh, make his way to the airship. Meanwhile, uh, was that one hit on Morton? Morton was not very salty today. Um, definitely low sodium intake lately. It's really good. That's probably good for his heart. So, two hits. All right, two hits. Fair enough. Two hits verified. Chat is correct. I'm wrong. But yeah, who does your taxes? Guys, don't forget, it is tax season. So make sure to get your taxes in if you haven't already. Very important. No one wants to get audited. Mitch getting a hammer from that uh, letter there. 
So that'll be pretty nice for potentially World 6. Uh, they could also potentially skip a level in World 4 if the configuration's right. And then if he gets another hammer, there's also the potential double hammer play in World 3, so... So yeah, it looks like Classic just didn't start his timer. Uh, not important. They're essentially around the same time here. Uh, the timers are relative anyway. It's all based on the uh, the SRL timing. So that's what we go by here. And I will give you those final times when we get there. But meanwhile, Mitch making his way into 7-4, which I know is his favorite stage. Although I'm sure he likes it a lot more in Randomizer. Uh, there's a lot less of these spiky cheap sheeps that you have to deal with that are kind of random. And uh, there tends to be fewer bloopers too. But sometimes... You get a bunch of them, so it looks like he's lucking out on the bloopers. Getting a lot of Berthas, actually. <laughs> so... Ooh. Alright, Classic gotta be a little careful here in this stage. You'll notice the difference between the the two situations. Mitch having the felt flower power able to um, dispatch some of these enemies that kind of get in his way in some of these spots. Meanwhile, Classic having to take this a little safer... It's really not a stage you want to take a death in, so um, it's better to be safe than sorry here. Um, thankfully, getting a, a pretty nice section there, so it doesn't lose too terribly much time. And then Mitch picking up a star from the Hammer Bro, which don't really like to see, although it's pretty good insurance against um, having... Uh, or having to fight Hammer Bros without a Fire Flower or a Tail. So he's choosing to go to this fortress here. Um, he doesn't want to have to come back into this lower section of World 5 uh, in the event the lock in the top section is blocking it. So what would happen is he would go through the tower. Um, he'd recognize, oh, it's way better to play the lock, and then you have to go back down the tower and play it again. So you just want to prevent uh, having to play that twice. And so pretty much any stage in the game... <laughs> Or any, well, any fortress in the game would be faster than having to play that tower twice, so. Uh, Classic also choosing to make the same decision here. Pretty uh, common choice here. You can tell that uh, both players are pretty uh, well-versed in doing this, so. So he's going to make his way to the tower here. He's not going to have to worry about what's going on in the top section of the world. We won't know if that uh, fortress helped him or not, because obviously the lock will be removed, but uh, chances are it probably helped him out in some sort of way. And yeah, uh, classic using a star, as I mentioned, really nice to have uh, for these Hammer Bro fights. It does save you a little time on them as well, because you're able to uh, remove the Hammer Bros quicker with the star, as well as if there's any Boomerang Bros, you're able to absorb the Boomerangs with the star. Um, both runners trying to keep P-Speed in this lower room here. It's pretty difficult in the tower. Uh, those roto discs are randomized. It's part of randomizer here, so um, not how they'd expect to see it if they were playing vanilla. Uh, ooh, Mitch doing the waffle jump there. That was pretty, uh, pretty slick. Uh, very rare that you get a setup that allows you to even do that, so uh, very cool. And yeah, no Sunday sequence break. Did go for it, but uh, unfortunately, no success there. Um, enemy was kind of in Mitch's way. You can actually clip to this boom boom room uh, before entering that door, but uh, if the enemy's getting your way, it's no good. So, but yeah, this is uh, obviously um, World 1 Fortress, and the logic of Randomizer, when you see that level, always assumes you're going to grab the item, so it's not a required fortress uh to beat the boom boom on in order to, to complete the world but uh neither runner having a tail there so we don't know what item it would have given them meanwhile mitch getting four three here um normally i would suggest damage boosting through this stage to get p speed but uh he, he really likes having this flower uh the flower is going to help him on future stages so even though he could save probably 5 to 10 seconds in this stage, it might lose him, you know, significant amounts of time later. So he's choosing to not take the risk there. Doesn't know when he'd be able to get it back. Ooh, you would, huh? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Mitch uh, getting a, a nice kind of French vanilla here, 5-2. Uh, 
does not go in the pit of despair, which you love to see. Uh, that's the bottom section of 5-2 that you never want to see. Uh, Mitch choosing the slide here and damage boost. Does save some time, but uh, is going to lose that Fire Flower. So, you know, I say one thing and then he just proves me wrong in the next level. So, good stuff. Uh, meanwhile, Classic also making his way through 4-3 here. Um, is small Mario and he's really had trouble keeping power up so far this world. Um, and I think a lot of that uh, has resulted in this time difference. Obviously, he ended up playing the extra world in, or extra forward in the first world too. So um, that also is a somewhat contributing factor. But yeah, meanwhile, we got the world six airship for Mitch. Does not get the clip there. That clip actually does save time in randomizer, even though in vanilla it is simply just for swag. And oh, look at that. He gets a nice fire flower back. So um, decision justified there. And let's see how many hits Roy's going to take. How many hits does it take to get to the center of a Roy Koopa? All right. Apparently the answer is two. And classic doing the hammer bro fight is small Mario. Um, choosing to wait from the jump there. Playing it a little safe. Definitely don't blame him. So. And he will also make his way to the World 6 airship here. Will not have an opportunity at the clip. You do need to be Big Mario in order to clip there. So, <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Tapatio OJ. That was just for you, man. All right. So we get a P-Wing from the letter there in World 2, which was actually World 5. Randomizer is confusing. It's fine. So yeah, Mitch choosing to check a pipe here. Going to play a Fortress. Pretty good decision here um to just go right to this fortress uh the way the logic in the randomizer works is i believe at minimum each world you have to play one fortress or two levels so he could potentially play this fortress and then be done with this world so we'll see uh what happens here all right that builds a bridge to the pipe and uh honestly you might want to just go check the pipe, but yep, and it is that pipe. So, um, was there another four? Okay, we see the other lock, so he should be home free here. So, one level in world three, very kind, um, today. Sometimes world three is one of these worlds where you can get stuck with like four or five levels right away, and uh, it ends up being fairly long, but uh, getting a pipe right away is definitely something you like to see here, unless, of course, it's the end pipe and then you have to play four levels to get to the fortress, but yeah, oh well. So yeah, Mitch is zooming through World 3 here. Taking out Wendy, no problem. Had a Fire Flower for her as well, just in case. So yeah, we'll see if Classic saves a pipe transition here by just going, and he does, right to the pipe. So he saves a little bit of time there on Mitch. So he's about the entirety of the airship in the cutscene behind here and it is world one so it is one of the shorter airships well it is the shortest airship so um we'll see how well he does against wendy here one a two another two hitter so ooh, mitch losing his fire power here in uh the piranha fort aka seven fortress two um you definitely want to keep that in this fortress that can allow you to do some really slick P speed through that pipe section there um, if you have it. But uh, that is kind of a risk too. But uh, he does get a fire flower back there. So that's pretty good here. If he can maintain this in the bottom section, which is somewhat difficult, he'll be able to save some time on the boom boom kill. Um, but he's deciding to damage boost there. I don't blame him for that either. Those, especially the enemies he got there, those hot, those drunk hot feet, they're crazy. So we get another P-Wing here from the World 3 letter. And uh, both runners knowing that based on the logic, you know, fort's probably required. Just go right to the fort. At least at the, it'll give them information and they don't lose a bunch of time playing it, even though it is one of the longer forts. So at this point, it's their job to hunt down the level. And I think I see a 10 square there. So that means this is a one fort world seven. They should be home free once they find the final island here. But the question is, which pipe is going to bring them there? And that might be this one. So Mitch choosing to star this piranha plant. 
instead of music box it. I think that's a fair decision in the event that that pipe does not bring him to the end of the world. So unfortunately, Classic gonna have to double damage boost here. Uh, the single tile duck giving him a little trouble there. Duck ducks in Mario Three are a little, uh, you know, their thing. <laughs> so yeah, I would be. I would imagine this pipe island is gonna bring him to the end island. One of these pipes and uh, okay. So it looks like two levels are going to be required at the end of the world as well. Um, meanwhile, Classic found it right away. So, um, ooh, and I think... Did Classic have to play this stage? Maybe he did. Um, so yeah, Classic playing 6-4 here. So Mitch still a stage ahead. It looks like 7-5 is actually required. And as far as I know, neither runner has a cloud. So... This is not a stage you want to see here, um, to be honest. But Mitch has some pretty good strategies for this one. Okay, it was required through that pipe. Interesting. So Mitch saved that stage kind of by uh, doing some slick sleuthing, I guess you could say. Um, so I see the sun at the end of this stage. I know Mitch is going to probably try to get a wall jump or clip here. Oh, but yeah, the sun's just going to be right there. And uh, definitely in his best interest to build the coin bridge there. So yeah, he's going to have that block there just for a little bit of safety, just in case there's some trash that gets in his way. And uh, hopefully the sun is kind to him here. Nice. All right. No problems. Cool. Um, and looks like the power up block for Classic was a star. So you really don't like seeing that. So... Um, as expected, this stage being a little rough to our runners here. I'm actually surprised neither one took a death, um, because it looks like they did actually have a cloud and a P-Wing, so uh, it would have been significantly faster to use one of those items on the stage. And we see, uh, Classic having a problem with sprites on the screen here. Um, so when there's too many sprites on the screen, you actually cannot, uh, pick up those ice blocks. And, uh... <laughs> Definitely not something you want to see in Randomizer. Uh, very cool there. He does kill the sun, so he's not going to have much issue. Uh, meanwhile, Mitch getting an off-screen wand grab, so that's pretty cool. He's going to save some time here on the cutscene at the end of this world uh, by doing so. Choosing to use the P-Wing there because uh, he did just cloud a level. So we'll see what that level ends up being, whether or not Classic decides to cloud it here. So yeah, that saves Mitch about four seconds skipping that cutscene. Yeah, let's see here. All right, so there's a fortress in the way. You're always going to go play this fortress first anyway, just to see. And oh, man, Mitch skipped a heck of a level here. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's not as good as skipping 7-5, but it's pretty dang close. So uh, this is going to be a pretty slow level uh, for Classic. Does a nice job in that, that pipe of death section there. A lot of times um, people have a lot of trouble making it through that section, especially a small Mario. So... Um, but obviously Classic's a really good player, so I'd expect that. Oh, Classic doesn't have a cloud. Okay, so that's, uh, Mitch must have got that from the one hammer bro that, uh, he fought in the first world. Interesting. That's just randomizer for you. Sometimes your opponent, uh, gets a really good item and, uh, you don't, so... Um, meanwhile, Classic making his way to the World 5 airship here, which is going to have Ludwig. And Mitch is in Fort Knox, so he's going to have to wait out this P-Switch timer, get the Tanuki suit, one of the classic puzzles here. <laughs> and then he's going to use this Tanuki suit to fly the end of the world. So another two-hitter on Ludwig here. What What's going on with this seed? Yeah, that was from the hammer, bro, that uh, he died and skipped. Interesting. Okay. Um... Yeah, Mitch making his way out of Fort Knox here. Statue swag? No statue swag. Disappointing. That's okay. He's got more opportunities to do it. And the king wants to be kinged, which is interesting because he is already a king. Don't ask me why he's asking to be king twice, but there you go. Uh, and Mitch getting 5-9 here, so... Um... You know, probably technically would have been a better stage for him to cloud, but at the same time, I don't know, man. 
it's it's about it would have been about the same amount of time this stage actually it seems longer than it really is um and it's not terribly difficult to get out of so i actually did not roll the seed believe it or not this was all wolfman so um yeah shout out to wolfman bringing the heat here But yeah, I mean, if you want, if you wanted my seed, then it would have had Atlantis in it. So yeah, classic. Unfortunately, finding out that uh, that is not the fortress he needs, but uses the perfect item here. That's one of the the good strategies in randomizer. If you have P wings and you haven't seen Fort Knox yet, especially when you're in the second half of the game, like they are, is to start burning things like tails and P wings on fortresses uh, when you can. Because you're probably going to draw this stage at some point. I, it's pretty rare that you don't see it at all, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, Classic's going to be real sad to find out what this stage is. <laughs> well, he'll play it nonetheless. And getting a uh, Fire Chomp at the beginning there is no good. You definitely want to take out these Fire Chomps as soon as possible on the Auto Scroller here. And meanwhile, is that four hits? It was four or five hits there on... Uh, Lemmy, but or not Lemmy, Larry. But uh but yeah, these uh fire chomps can despawn these moving platforms, which you need for completion of the stage. So um really unfortunate if that happens. So yeah, let's see what uh Mitch gets from the letter here. Ooh, can you get can we get the commands? We need the commands in chat because we got a tanuki suit here. There we go, sack it. Good stuff. And he gets a nice mushroom from that letter. So Peach being very giving today in her letters. Uh, P-wings and mushrooms, apparently. Although she did give a hammer. So speaking of that hammer, could come in very useful in this world. So we'll see what happens here. Mitch getting some P-speed there. I'm not entirely sure he wanted that. So uh, meanwhile, Classic dispatching the hammer bros there without an issue. Has a tail. And he'll use it to great effect on this airship, being able to um, skip the flames thrower of death section here. And go right to the boss. So yeah, Mitch doing some vanilla strats here. Ooh, getting a fire nipper. Okay. I mean, based on how this wor this level started, I did not expect the 7-8 enemy set here. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, there they are. Good old fire nipper right, right to the dome. And getting a flower, his namesake. So yeah, since he has the hammer there, some ooh, he's got two hammers. Okay, he might as well just blind hammer that spot. He's got, you know, the second hammer. Uh, a fort's probably going to be required, but yeah, he's he's going to check the pipes. Makes sense. And okay, hammers are useless. Got it. <laughs> uh, so ignore that. Uh, I did see the one lock, so um, we're assuming a fortress is going to do something. So strategy here would be play a fortress, see if that lock's still intact. If it is, it's probably a good sign for you. And yeah, not doing the Oglib super tank strat because that level doesn't auto-scroll in randomizer, so... Um, all right. He is, he can use that hammer to skip a level here. So that's still going to be pretty good. Um, and I mean, the siege is being rude now. That's, that's just, that's just so rude. And oh, classic. Oh, just in a bad situation there with the, uh, fire nipper. Oof. Being small Mario. I think he really wanted the power up. It was kind of a greedy play, um, and got punished for it, but, uh, he'll get another shot at it here. So yeah, Mitch thankfully has all sorts of inventory. So um, not a lot of it's useful at this point, but um, so yeah, classic knowing the fire nippers here is probably going to go up. Yeah, there you go. So though, ooh, and getting hit by the Patui there. Okay. So understanding that the way the cycles for the fire nippers work is they'll shoot uh, two cycles of fireballs and then they'll have a pause 
really helps with being able to get past them. And uh, man, just getting trolled right now, getting the triple stars, so the swag there uh, from Classic. Definitely did not want that. Going to lose a little bit of time there, but I mean, I don't know. It's a couple seconds. Not too big of a deal. Meanwhile, Mitch is kind of making his way through the world here. So even even he's kind of widened his gap here in world six so even if that ford at the beginning is required which i think both of them actually skipped uh he's not gonna lose too much here and this is for fortress two getting some nice p speed there from a star which is a fantastic power up to get from that block actually for this reason uh, meanwhile classic i think purposely was damage boosting there but Kind of got frame ruled and didn't get the uh, P speed. Meanwhile, we got six five for Mitch, and oh man, uh, that is brutal. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> um, so I guess he's gonna check the other level. <laughs> yeah, let's see what uh, six nine is here, and it is uh, a two. And since the cha the uh, <laughs> The chainless chomps at the beginning there. We know there's not going to be an angry sun or a bass or a um, cheap cheap. So the rest of the level is going to be pretty free here. Meanwhile, a classic making his way through this beta stage. Getting some bloopers here, which are giving him a little bit, a little bit of trouble with some lag. Um, as well as just being really... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's... The pixel that got him interesting so yeah taking a death there unfortunately right at the end of the beta stage that one's kind of brutal to be honest uh if, if you don't have a power up so yeah hitboxes they're a thing in mario 3 i wouldn't say they're a good thing but they are in fact a thing uh sometimes they work to your advantage but they don't seem to usually work to your advantage so <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, we get the Lemmy fight here, which honestly, any uneven stage like this is brutal, but it's a two hitter because everything's two this seed. Why not three? I mean, that's the number of the counting, so it should be it, but it's not. Classic taking some damage there. It's okay. Makes it out alive. That's the key. And keeps P speed at the end there because he did P wing, so. Listen to them, Children of the Light, what music they make. I don't know what that's from, so you'll have to uh, let me know, chat. What's that from? Uh, meanwhile, Classic also grabbing the star here for 442 and using it to great effect here. Ah, Dracula, got it. Okay. Me, me noob. Um, and we see 8 4 Mitch is playing through now. First level here in World 7. Ooh. Um, having a little trouble there. Uh, didn't want to go on the top uh, escalator there, so... Um, wants to one cycle here. Gets the trolley ghost there, which is unfortunate. But he does get a pretty good enemy after that and a good uh, roto disc rotation. So he's still able to one cycle there. I think Teeks has a pretty good strat. For getting around that ghost that i saw which is pretty incredible he does like this duck jump over it so um there is a way to actually still maintain your fire through there which is crazy and of course that is the one that builds the bridge you love to see it you really do so we could be seeing a one level world four here and of course not why did i even say anything <laughs> why wouldn't those pipes just lead to each other um so yeah a vanilla ish um, 3-8 here with the bass. Really smart decision to grab the block and throw it there because that's where the next enemy is going to spawn. So um, sometimes that enemy can just pop its head up out of the water and take you out. So playing it a little safe there, really smart decision. Meanwhile, Classic making his way through the 7 airship here. And thankfully, since he's small Mario, this is only a 2-hitter. So it seems to me when I'm in that situation, it's always a 3-hitter. So and we can see Mitch running out of inventory here. Skipping a lot of bros. Does get a cloud, so that's going to be a really good item for him. Um, going to want to use it to cloud this next level here. Yeah, pretty smart. So he's in the last world here, so um, definitely want to cloud whatever is in his way. So that could also be a nice time swing for him if 
the uh, hammer bro doesn't move in a way that allows classic to grab it too. So by process of elimination, we have the world two airship and uh, Mitch doing a jump there because he wants to get P speed on that platform allows him to beat the level just a little quicker. Classic going into eight for it's small here. So yeah, he's going to go up through the door and do the little respawn tactic. I don't know how many of you knew this, but that block will continue to respawn here as you go through doors. So very cool. Um, and he's going to use this to then also hopefully get the one cycle. And ducking under the ghost there and getting over the other one. So that was pretty slick, actually. Oh, I don't think he's going to one cycle. Oh, just short. He just couldn't get P-Speed back. Okay. So, yeah, he's going to have to wait here. But he's going to do a nice little clip through the wall. Meanwhile, Mitch getting another mushroom. So um, they do have their one hammer suit that they need. But, yeah, uh, in general, the peach letter is not particularly useful this seed. And Classic's going to be sad when he goes through this pipe and realizes he's still got to play two levels. Uh, meanwhile, Mitch making his way through the Sunken Fort, a.k.a. World 3 Fortress 2. Um, I don't think there's anything actually randomized in this fortress, or at least not noticeably. So it's kind of, it's pretty, pretty vanilla, pretty bland, but uh, also pretty easy, so... You like to see it, actually. It's a little long, though. That's the only problem with it. Thankfully, it doesn't break that lock because that lock you don't care about. So, and oh my goodness, we have a free world eight. All right. Well, then. Um, interesting. So yeah barring disaster here mitch gonna take game one here with a really fantastic time and we see the stage that mitch, mitch got the skip here being uh, another one of these beta levels and a pretty long one at that so definitely not a level you want to draw it's one of my least favorite personally uh, because it's long and also there's a lot of like weird enemies and fire enemies you got to avoid so And I don't know what the Hammer Bros are doing there, but they're uh, they're playing hide-and-go-seek with each other, I guess. Uh, hi, Bowser. Bye, Bowser. So get your GGs out for Mitch. He's going to take game one here. And we'll get his time once he enters the door. And Mitch Flower Power finishes with an official SRL time of 31.52. So GG's to him. Uh, meanwhile, we have Classic here. Making his way. Gonna find out that World 8's really simple. So, um, but yeah, he's got the World 7 airship here. One more stage and then he's out of the seat. Iggy, just a one-hitter. So yeah, the Koopaling's really, really um, weak this seed, actually. So, uh, you kind of like to see it, but at the same time as a spectator, you really want to see, like, all five hitters. Let's be honest, guys. You want to see it, I want to see it. We want to see some uh, airship deaths, so... So yeah, meanwhile, making his way to World 8 here. He's going to find out why Mitch finished so quickly <laughs> after he plays his first level. And uh, getting the sunken fort here as well. Did you need to do the fort in World 5? Uh, we don't know. You both did it, so. Um, but yeah, this is the level that makes the one bridge which it's it's interesting this happens a lot more often than you think it would to be honest all right so classic building this bridge here 
go through the pipe. And also get a shot at the big man. Who unfortunately had an unused cloud there because of the way the hammer bros were. And he's just showing off his extra inventory, you know, gonna use it all here. You know, you don't get to keep it for the next scene anyway, might as well. Ooh, missing the ghost there. It's good to take that ghost out when you can. It can be a little trolly. Taking it pretty quick up the stairs there. Pretty nifty moves. And not getting the clip there on the first or second try, so... Gonna go through the statue room here, which, as you know... Can be a little trolly with the fireballs. Alright, kind of inching his way there. <laughs> I think he was pretty afraid to take in some damage here. So, definitely want to see him finish with a he- Ah, uh, excuse me? Ah, uh, what just happened? All right, well, inching his way to the end here. All right, a uh, little more, little more, no, 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 little more. All right, little more. Oh no, <laughs> he took damage. All right, well, he's doing it the old fashioned way, I guess. Alright. And... Just three more jumps here, or two more jumps. I can count, I swear. Two more jumps here until victory. Gets to show off Bowser's wonderful hitbox here. See if he can make it over the gap. Okay. All right. And he's through the door. All right. With an official SRL time of 36.39. Okay. Get your guesses. What world are we seeing first, guys? Quick. Quick. Do it now. So we're gonna start. Fast. And it's world four. Crab Cakes wins. All right, so runner's going right for the pipe here. Going straight to that fortress. We don't have many choices here. We see seven tile, so that tells us that. Um, there's only one fortress. Meanwhile, getting the Chungus Bros here for the first battle. And uh, Mitch getting sniped with a hammer by them, so. Definitely not what you want to see right away. Uh, classic. Fighting a second hammer bro here. Much easier battle. Plus, he's going to get a mushroom from it, so that's pretty good. Mitch using his star he just picked up. Going to get rid of that boomerang and save a little bit of time, so. Um. Interestingly enough, they finish up about the same time here, even with that death from Mitch, so... It turns out, the water battle is really slow. Who would have guessed? Alright, so we get the Air Force here. One of, uh... The stages from Bowser's military. The Out of Scroll is removed here, so it kind of ends up being this pretty neat platforming stage. Not, not too terribly difficult, but uh, challenging enough to where, you know, if you don't have your wits about you, you might miss a jump and take a death. So it's something you definitely don't want to do. Um, classic, just slightly inching ahead of Mitch here, out of the fortress first. But uh, there's like half a second maybe between the two of them. So, And we get the World 4 airship here. Both runners choosing to build the P-Speed here. 
going to use this P speed to make their way through this level. Uh, nice stuff there from Classic. Doing it without turn back, saving a little extra time. Uh, chooses to forgo the power up there. Uh, it ends up actually being a Fire Flower, which, um, based on the look of how this fight's going, might actually. Oh, never mind. Haha, <laughs> nice meme. I was going to say it might actually save Mitch time, but uh, Iggy's this man that doesn't believe in having a real hitbox, so. So yeah, about a five second difference, I think, maybe between them right now. Uh, let's see what the... The message says, my mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you. All right. The uh, king giving a nice speech there, and they're picking up a leaf from the king. And we see a fortress right away here in uh, World 7. Both runners choosing to go right for that fortress. Classic using a tail here. In the event, it's either 6 fort 2 or 7 fort one Unfortunately, it is 2 fort, so... Tail can actually help him in this next room here. He can potentially use it to damage boost, so... And he's going to do so, which will allow him to one cycle. Mitch also choosing the one cycle. Uh, but he damage boosts as Big Mario, so... He'll still have his tail to use in a later stage. But yeah, a lot of times when you see a configuration like this, you want to go straight for the fortress, because you don't want to play hide-and-go-seek with the uh, fortress if you make your way through this world and it's kind of a convoluted world so and alright well another stage is going to be required here and it is 6-7 with the auto scroll removed kind of on the longer side of stage it's not too terribly difficult though there aren't a ton of enemies and there are a lot of power up opportunities here which unfortunately it seems like they're stars and you hate to see it, but uh, it is what we're seeing, so. And Classic out of the stage here first. A little faster than Mitch, but Mitch not too far behind. So he gets two pipe checks here. Um, after completing that stage, and that's not the one he wants to see. Doesn't go back through the pipe. Uses the screen transition to his advantage to save a pipe transition, so the screen transition being much quicker. Pretty linear World 7, actually. Um, looks like they're going to have to play another fortress, so this is bad news if this isn't the fortress, because they're going to have to hunt down that other fortress. And there's a good possibility that that might be the case, but you would assume that being it's behind this level, it's going to break that lock, but don't make any assumptions with the randomizer. You're going to have a bad time. So yeah, Classic making it out of there pretty quickly here. Mitch right behind him still. And we get 7 for it too. So a Fred here. Um, and Classic, I think, actually took an intent. No, he didn't. Oh, he did. Okay, he took an intentional death there in order to uh, star to beat this faster. And he gets another star, so... Um, Mitch also grabbing that second start. It's going to allow him to get some nice P speed here and speed through this top section of the level. And uh, yeah, Classic choosing to wait that out there. And nice maintenance might keep P speed here. And he does in the bottom section, so that's pretty neat. Um, unfortunately, that dry bone's being in his way. So Mitch with the damage boosting strat actually able to take over the lead here slightly. And so we see what that uh, power-up advantage was able to do for him. Um, so that ended up being the fortress. So that's good news for them. That's not a fortress that, <laughs> you know, you want to play and then have it be not required. So both choosing to use a star here. By far the most intelligent way to play the stage. Uh, fastest way as well. So... Is able to peace speed their way through that second piranha plant level and they get another star for their efforts so uh the seed right now not being too terribly kind with their items i think that's the third star they've gotten so far so yeah mitch having a tail here and opting to keep it classic gonna do some p speed here Let's see if he's able to make his way through 
with the P-Speed. Yep, doing the small hops here. And he's not going to be too far behind Mitch here. So I think that was... Ooh, gets a high jumper. Oh, man. Lands and immediately high jumps. So looks like a pretty standard Ludwig minus the Quake. Uh, so two Koopalings will randomly Quake in these randomizer seeds. So definitely be on the lookout for that. We haven't seen one yet. So one of the last five... Or, sorry, two of the last five will be doing that. So yeah. Oh, we see the Dracula. Thanks, chat. Message again. <laughs> see what Peach gives us. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's World 7. So we don't know what Peach gave us. Going right into Fortress. And he's got the perfect power up. So this is actually going to be a significant time save for Mitch versus Classic. Um, unfortunately... He would have saved a little time choosing the frog suit here, but yeah, he's going to have to go get the mushroom here and then go get the tanuki suit. And that costs a pretty significant amount of time, unfortunately. So Mitch justified here in the end by keeping that uh, tanuki suit. And the pipes lead right into each other, so this is going to be a pretty long World 3. If you guys remember, I mentioned it last seed that uh, World 3 be like this sometimes, and this what it'd be like sometimes. And we get to see 3-1 here, and ooh, Mitch was trying to get P-Speed at the end there. Um, does allow you to beat this level a little quicker, actually, having P-Speed with the tail, since you can fly above everything. Uh, classic trying to do the little speed jump there into the pipe slightly misses it but not a big deal a little optimization thing and we get to see another one of these beta stages and i don't know this one's kind of similar to seven six i guess except there's waterfalls everywhere and uh it's a surprisingly annoying stage uh pretty hard to optimize there at the swims that was actually a really good uh pace by mitch making it through that stage All right, so classic also in 3-1 here. And he does get some P-Speed here, so he'll be able to beat the stage a little quicker because of it. Yep, gets in a 282 there. Uh, Mitch fighting that hammer, bro. I didn't miss what it was. Classic doing some statue swag at the end of the level. All right. And Mitch gets hand three here. So this is not the power up you want for this level, but he does make it through without any issues and gets a star for his efforts. So um, the theme of the seed so far, stars, they're everywhere. That's all it's got for you. So yeah, this fort looking like it is probably, well, I mean, it's not necessarily required, I guess. You could go down and do the level below it, which... Um, I think based on the configuration he should probably do, actually. Oh, Fire Bros giving Classic some problems. The thing about Fire Bros is their hitboxes, yeah. And he gets a hammer, so... I don't know if Mitch got that item, actually. Uh, I don't recall. I know he fought one of the Hammer Bros, so he might have got it, but he might have got the other item, too. Alright, Mitch did get the hammer, so... Pretty even on the items here. So yeah, this is the right choice based on the configuration. It... Okay, hi Bass. Um, nice of you to join us later in the level than uh, you're supposed to. So that was cool. And so Bass getting his first meal of the, uh, the matchup here. So I know he's gonna be happy. Oh my goodness. He's playing with fire. Not not actually, because fire would have been useful in that situation, but, you know, figuratively, fire. And Classic making his way through 3F2. And this is... This is a Fred, guys. It's not... It's not exactly in its normal location, but it's pretty dang close. And so, yeah, as expected... It's the uh, the maximum pain world three coming out here, all the levels, all the time, 
And, uh, oh, well, I mean, you can tell I rolled the seed. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Classic going for the item here. Um, meanwhile, Mitch gonna use this frog suit to uh, hopefully get this leaf here. Oh my, okay. Yep, yep. I claim this seed. Yep. Man, very nice seed we got going here. Oh, more fire nippers. Let's go. Let's just hope there's one right in the bottom, right here in the little in the little jail here. Oh, and there it is. Oh, and it's not a. Ooh, I'm disappointed, man. Could have been so much better. Hey, I don't know about you guys. I'm really enjoying this. This is a great level right here. What? You don't like my level? And another fire nipper right at the end. All right. One for the road. I, I really did this for you guys' entertainment. I mean, you know. And uh, using the statue to his advantage there. Very nice stuff. Avoiding all the garbage, I'm going to call it on the screen there. Uh, the Fire Nipper deciding not to shoot, he's like, Oh, there's too many sprites. I can't, I can't let go of the fireballs. Meanwhile, Mitch making his way through the World 2 airship. Nice P-Speed build there. It looked like Wendy was probably thick, but she was one hit. So, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm letting you down with the Wendy, but uh, I mean, we, we'll always have 5-3. Just remember that. So yeah, let's see what Mitch is getting from the letter here. Meanwhile, Classic making his way to the airship. Not too terribly far behind here, actually. All things considered, because... You know, he had a lot of trouble with 5-3 there, so he's only about the airship in the cutscene behind. Yeah, that was definitely a kid's meal, Wendy, and, uh... Where's your subpixel manipulation at now, Mitch? Huh? Okay, apparently right there. So, yeah, nice stuff. Three tries, because the number shall be three. Makes it out of the level there. And, uh, hopefully this is the fork, and it's not. I can already tell you guys, this is not the fortress. Um, so he's gonna have to play this fortress, then the next fortress. So he should definitely go for the item here if he has the opportunity, which he does not because it's my seed and my seed hates him, so. And classic, not gonna be happy with this. Um, probably gonna take the fine here and uh, I think he should have a power-up of some sort for this, right? All right, he's got a P-Wing. Perfect item for this. Doesn't have to worry about clipping, so... Um, yep, of course, Mitch's second fortress here, the Navy, which Wolfman's probably here. He's probably singing for you guys. Like, he just imagine him, you know? The songbird of our generation. And, uh... But Mitch making quick work of the Navy here with some very good P-Speed. I'm not singing. Come on. Meanwhile, oh, Classic gets to check the items. So this could be a pretty nice uh, pickup for him, depending on what it... And, I mean, it's a star because everything's a star this seed because I made the seed and it hates you. And, of course, Mitch gets 5-9 because... <laughs> See what I just said. See, unfortunately, the Navy significantly slower when you uh, lose your P-Speed here, but uh, still a pretty quick stage overall. Um, and pretty soon he's going to be making his way to 5-9, and uh, he's not going to be real happy about that. So, let's see here. Mitch making it out of there, so we'll see what the rest of the World 1's got in store for him here. So yeah, very smart there, waiting for the fire chomp to shoot before he goes after him. And we see 5-7 here. 
pretty simple level. Um, looks like a pretty simple enemy set in here too. Oh, the ba bomb! Oh, just kidding. The perfectly placed Goomba shoe there. Just uh, executing Bowser's orders here. Meanwhile, classic on the best level in the game. Just hanging out, you know, doing some casual jumps there. And Mitch choosing the P-Wing, the coin ship here. Just a little bit of safety. Does get a hammer. So, potentially useful in this seed. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think they... I don't think they played World 6 yet, so... If it's anything like last seed, though, it might, might not be useful. You never know. It's a classic using the Buzzy Beetle there as a little shield for himself. And uh, picks up a star there. And was kind of trying to pee speed through the stage. But I think he got a little nervous there. Lost where he was in the level. So yeah. About an 18 minute World 4. Which honestly isn't that slow. So. Um... Although, World 1 definitely took longer than you'd expect World 1 to take. So, we'll see what happens for the rest of this seed here. And Clock's doing a nice job of keeping peace speed there. And we got the 5 hitter on Larry. And meanwhile, Mitch gets another hand. So, keeping with the theme of the seed, he's going to get a nice star. Very nice pickup for him there. He's only got about eight of them, so. So yeah, ooh, this is actually a vanilla five too, guys. This is actually a Fred. This is the most Fred of Freds. And Mitch having a pretty good power up here. He could choose the damage boost there and get P speed if he wanted to, but he did not because it's generally a good idea to keep power ups anyway in randomizer. And Classic, nice job there, taking out uh, the Sledge Bro and uh, making Hand 1 there look very easy. Very fast Hand 1. Mitch using his tail to damage boost, so that, that was a much smarter use of it here. So he can save some pretty good time in this level uh, getting P-Speed versus not getting it. Because I don't know if you could tell, but the Roto Discs were not going to allow him to do this, so... Um... Being able to P-Speed through all these rooms is really a huge advantage. And getting a nice Roto Disc there, allowing him to actually P-Speed. Meanwhile, Classic, getting Paragoomba. You hate to see it. Honestly, the final boss of Randomizer. Yeah, really good tower there, 280. So, thankfully, this Fortress is right next to it. And this one should be the one that breaks that lock. And it's a pretty quick one, too getting the super tank here uh not following the oglib strat he does not have fire and it does not auto scroll so classic stopping for once once in its life that block is actually a power up and not a star so very nice and able to keep it through that room which is also kind of impressive the room tends to claim power ups if you don't have p speed in it so and sure enough that is the pipe and Pretty easy World 5, which is... Oh, World 5 was World 5? Man, that's another Fred. Oh, man. World 5 was full of Fred. And we'll see how many hits Roy takes here. And he is also a Quaking Roy, so... And he was three hits! I mean... I rest my case. I rest my case, chat. Classic getting some nice P-Speed here. Ooh, just dodging the Rocky Wrench there. Honestly, is this even randomized? 
If you're enjoying this stream, click below to subscribe. Yes, do it. And he picks up a nice mushroom from the peach letter, so stars and mushrooms. Gonna check this pipe here. Uh, he did pick up a hammer, so it looks like this hammer is gonna be potentially useful here. At least allow him to skip two stages, and potentially three if this is the fortress required, so. Um, does get 5 fort 2 here, so apparently we're still in world 5. And that is even a vanilla enemy for this fortress, so I mean, uh, pretty, pretty Fred configuration there. And we'll see how much time this is gonna save him overall. And that is the fortress, so pretty good hammer usage there. Still has another hammer in his inventory. Uh, potentially useful. I think World 6 is the next world. I don't recall that one being played, and I think that was the only one, so... So yeah, you know. Apparently my seed had the runners in the first half, but not in the second half. And we got the World 6 airship here, picking up a Fire Flower there for Mitch. Meanwhile, Classic also speeding through 542. Having absolutely no issue with it whatsoever. Not a very salty Morton again, two hits. And uh, just really disappointing everybody here with the lack of salt. Um, classic, not too far behind Mitch here. This is shaping up to be a pretty good race here to the end, so... Mitch did stop to fight that extra hammer, bro. But uh, um, we'll see. We'll see how useful that ends up becoming. So yeah, he does have the extra cloud, but will he get to use it? And we don't know what the peach letter was. Unfortunately, he skipped it too quickly. So yeah, he'll use this. Allow him to skip a couple levels here. Uh, use the other pipe and allow him to skip another level. Oh, oh man, this this hammer bro is the absolute sidestep king there. Absolute legend. And so yeah, unfortunately, oh actually he can go back, use the screen scroll to skip this coin, and he does. That's a 200 IQ move right there. Actually just the smartest man in history. And meanwhile, Classic also going to hammer here, having to fight the bro. Uh, uh, um, game? Ex excuse me? So, the thing about hammer bros is... Apparently that guy's just the side step, step king. There's the same hammer bro, too. I mean, that just an absolute legend. Put on an absolute clinic. All right, hold on. It appears I've lost connection to my video. I'm sorry. All right, I'm back. Cool. Mitch making his way through 643. Slowly. Oh, it wasn't just me. All right, all right, all right. Hold, hold on. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. We're back. All right. Classic playing a coin ship here. Get in the clouds. So a cloud advantage, you guys say, huh? Not anymore. And going right for the fortress. Uh, using the power up there for safety, so. And Mitch going to be able to use this fire flower to get some nice P-speed in 3-4, which being able to P-speed through this level is significantly faster than not, um, if you couldn't tell. It's, it's not a super long stage if you have P-Speed, but it, it's not a short stage if you don't, so. And the Silent Hammer Bro movement, the rare. 
And Mitch using his cloud to just go straight to the airship here. That's the thing about inventory. You don't get to use it on the next seed, so you might as well use it while you can. So very nice heads up usage there, knowing that he had some inventory left. Oh, is mine behind? Oh, okay. Mitch is out of the airship now. Magic. Boom. Meanwhile, Mitch apparently skipped the beta stage, so... Yeah, I was a little behind. Technical difficulties, that's fine. And I don't care what excuse you've got. Nothing is going to stop me in the middle of this a lemon tree. Huh. Interesting. So our poor king has ADHD and it seems to be untreated. Uh, meanwhile, Mitch going straight for the pipe here. Kind of a risky decision to not go for the fortress. So, um, well, potentially what is a fortress? I guess he's opting not to lose his fire flower. So this could actually be a pretty significant shift if that is the level required. And uh, if Classic does choose to play it, um, he's right back in this. And uh, yeah, it's another one bridge world eight. So if that's the one. And Lemmy, real, real tough today. I mean, Lemmy, quite the scrapper. Uh, in this seed. Wasn't the first one, but I mean, I love his heart in the second seed, guys. So yeah, Mitch seeing nothing blow up on that screen. He's gonna go back, check, see what's going on. Or did he... Yeah, he lost the pipe. Oops. Keeping track of your pipes in World 8. Very important. So that is not the one um, it looks like Mitch is going to go back and do this. Um, so Classic actually skipping it as well. And oh man, this is a hand you do not want to play. Okay, so uh, this World 8 could be very interesting with how it's configured. Um, and this is actually just a level. So that's good information for Mitch to have actually. So he knows he doesn't have to ever go back here again. Um, meanwhile... Honestly, Classic's probably going to have to go check that one. So, um, And once he plays this level, goes back, realizes it's not the level, he probably will go back and check it, um, I would imagine. And Mitch finding another fortress here. So does have the advantage of having already played this fortress. So we'll see if there's some sort of, um, I guess, path difference between the two and, and what they decide to, to pick here. And yeah, having a little trouble finding the correct pipe there as well. <laughs> um, realizing it's not. And of course, he's also going back to do the exact same thing. Um, does not get pulled in by the hand this time, though. So um, he has no idea, but he's going to be pretty happy he didn't get pulled in by that. Meanwhile... That is not the fortress, so it's kind of looking like it might be that airship up there. So we got to find a way to get to that. Um, so there's the tank, and so this is the... Okay, so it is the airship that's going to build the bridge. So um, once Mitch completes this level, he's going to go straight to that airship. And Classic's in the exact same level, and... If he's able to maintain a power up here, he can actually catch right back up. Um, might take a bit of a lead here, actually, with the star. So this is getting really interesting. Um, yeah, and Classic taking a slight lead here because of that. So it all depends on their pathing at this point. I mean, this is... And <laughs> this is a, what we call a barn burner. Oh, classic, unfortunately, going and playing the wrong fort. So um, not knowing that uh, it's actually this fortress that Mitch is playing. And Mitch knowing right away that this is the fortress. Um, yeah, he's just trying to get out of here as fast as possible, to be honest. So yeah, it, it really came down to whether or not he chose that um still potentially if he, especially if he keeps this flower if there's no flower in bowser's castle i guess maybe although oof 
Did Mitch clip in the ceiling there? That was crazy. Um, I think it's worth checking for flower here. Unfortunately, not a flower. Because um, they don't have Bowser items, so... Classic going right to the airship here. He's tired of playing games with the levels, and ooh, taking some damage there, so... So, man, honestly, this is really close. If there's no fire in Bowser's castle, and he can keep the fire here, so this is going to be really important for him to one-cycle this with fire, actually. Oh no, Mitch has got fire. Never mind. I don't know why I didn't think he didn't have it. Okay, well... Um... It's kind of down to, you know, whether Mitch takes a death in Bowser's Castle at this point. I think he's got a significant enough lead that even if he takes damage here, he should be okay. It's close, but um, not close enough. Yeah, if he lost fire in the Bowser fight, he would lose 40 seconds. But if he loses it before the Bowser fight, it's only 25 because you know exactly how to fight him right away, whereas if you're trying to fire kill Bowser, it's uh, a little more awkward. So yeah, Mitch getting the clip here, and uh, looking like he's not going to have any trouble with Bowser here, so getting the win, uh, able to pull it out in the end. This one was a really close race, though. Um, insanely close here. It really just came down to if uh, Classic had gone straight for that... Uh, that fast airship there or not. So get your GG's out for Mitch. And Mitch finishes with an official SRL time of 33.31. And is our winner. Oh, classic. Taking a fireball to the head there. And he is going to frog suit, so... We probably are going to see a frog kill. And I think I'm now Yo. joined by Mitch. Yo, what's going on, bud? What up? Sorry, I got like a billion. Okay, there we go. What's up? <laughs> Not a whole lot, man. GG on your win here. Um, so what did you Thank think you. of those two seeds? The seed was incredibly fast, but I had some uh, I had some slip ups. Um, I made some good decisions uh, in World Seven. The uh, the uh, forts worked nicely. Um, World 3, after we built the bridge, you could have gone and done level 7, right? And then done the two yep. uh, pipes, but that was wrong because they led to each other, so you had to go down and do level 2. I got lucky yep. there. Um, yeah, that was smart. World 5 was... That. We got lucky in World 5 that we didn't have to go back down and do the other port. Um, yep. And World 8... So, I thought I was going to lose in World 8 because when I entered World 8, I didn't do the, the strategy of you know, I never have to come back here ever again. Right. Um, I entered the pipe, I did the first fort, the lock didn't break. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is it, and it wasn't it. And because I went into the wrong pipe anyways, I went back and tried to cross the hand. Um, I think my hand luck hmm. might have helped me a lot too. Well, actually what happened here is you both did the exact same thing there. You skipped that potential fortress first, which I thought was interesting. And then obviously it ended up not being a fort as we know. But um, it, you kind of end up with a route divergence. So you went and did the 8 fort level, which ended up being useless. And then he didn't. He actually went and did the um, the one on the hand bridge that you did but after that. But he didn't that. know so which he, lock it broke, Exactly. Right? Exactly. Whereas, whereas so I he, did. Yep. Yeah, yeah we, he went straight for 8 fort after that. Whereas if he'd have gone for the airship, he actually had a slight lead on you there. Yeah. I was close, and my yeah. dude, my death. I swear, I jumped over that boss fast, man. Unbelievable! That <laughs> fucking scooped me up so fast, man. And then yeah, my other death, I don't even, one, dude. Dude, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty funny. Um, I was, I was loving five three personally. Like that whole sequence around those levels was so trolly that uh, oh, I was having my a good time God. talking Dude, about. Dude, I'm in chat. my office. I'm in my office, like, come on, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like, because there's like fire yep, nippers yep. all over the place, and my death there was so lame. Oh my god, that stupid little walking nipper guy. <laughs> 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 
Um, then also the Chungus bro in World 6 that uh, gave you a really hard time actually was just dodging your fireballs. He actually uh, oh my God, also was doing I know. the same thing, the classic, man. There's the same one, the Dude, same one. And then one I clipped my you. fireballs on the one that would have, and it just was... I was like, just die already, like, jeez, what are you doing? But it worked out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the worlds were pretty nice to you guys, actually. Just pretty quick, you know, one level and done kind of thing. One and done, yeah. Um, so when I got to World yeah. 3, I was like, please be vanilla. I wanted those two pipes to connect, because I feel like uh, at times,